uh, zero way, how do you believe at all, to 100 where you believe? So they can't fight, we just want to be high. 1980. 1980? That's good. Um, well, so if you go five minutes, yeah, we'll go talk. I've got five minutes. Okay. So, um, how did you come to release so strongly? Because 90 is pretty high. How did you come to release so hard? We've been racing, We've been racing mostly. Okay. A, lot, a lot of it is mostly right. Most because my parents yeah. raised me that way, way and most because I you looked into the religion myself. Uh -huh. And that's what bumped it from like a 70 to a 90. All right. Just knowing the religion for myself. Okay. Reading the book. Okay. So researching. Okay. Was there um, something that you saw in there when you were researching that you thought, oh, this is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to go from 70 to 90. Well, no, you didn't put it in those languages, but yeah, was there something you saw in there that gave you that strength and faith? Yeah. I don't know, it was uh, mostly like, it's kind of hard to like, the, the, there are a lot of uh, verses in the Quran about like mercy, peacefulness, being kind to others, and just the, being a very considerate person. That's what God means. All right, that's the person I strive to be. I want to be the most considerate person. All right. So, so you like the, the messages of uh, being be good to your fellow human being, be um, you know, be nice to your mom or dad and all that kind of stuff. You know. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. I like that. That's the okay. part of the religion I focus on. Yeah. So, um, if, you know, but there are other people who are maybe also 90% or even 100% in their own, uh, um, you know, belief, who are not Muslim, you know? So, if you wanted to, to uh, if I had to choose between the two, or rather if we had to try and find out which one was true, yeah? either um, Muslim, uh, Islam rather, or whatever it is that they believe, yeah. Um, but we can't, you know, they, they are both 90% or you're both 100, you know, how, how can we tell which one is true? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I'm not going to argue with you on that. All right. That's why they call it faith. It's faith. There's no 100%. Okay. Truth. There's no. There's no guarantee that there is a God. All right. That I, I, that's something I have to face like nearly every day. I think about it like when I pray, when I, when I read the Quran, whenever I do anything related to religion, I think to myself, Am I doing this for a reason? Uh, do I? Is this? Am I? Is there a reward? In the end? Is there even a reward? Is there even a God in the first place? Right. But I still do it anyway. That's why it's called faith. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going, going to something I'm not sure it's actually there. I'm committed to something that I'm not sure will actually give me a reward. Okay. So, do you use faith in any other sphere of your life? You know, for example, uh, if you wanted to um, fly, I mean, if you wanted to do other things, you know, do you use faith for other things? You're not sure. Um, okay, you said the only reason, well, not the only reason, but the main reason why you are at 90 or 100 or whatever it is in your religion is because of the faith yeah, that you have in it. Yeah? Um, do you, I mean, so that faith seems to me to be very important to you. But do you use it for anything else in your life? You know, for instance, uh, you look to me at the age where you're probably still studying. At, uh, uh, I'm 16. You're 16, yeah. yeah. Um, so, do you, do you sort of say, I'm not going to um, study know, mathematics, I'm just going to rely on faith to get me through the exam? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I actually study. Like, that's, our religion kind of promotes that. Right. That you should study. It's, it's very important. Study to, to learn, to acknowledge. So, so, the, so the faith uh, doesn't get you 
uh, that, that, uh, any, anywhere at all in terms of you have to study, isn't it? The faith doesn't like it. Okay, so um, if, if faith is such so unreliable, why, why, do, why do you believe that? Why do you bank on it so much? Because I feel like it benefits me spiritually, it doesn't benefit me physically, mentally, mentally in some ways, not always. Yeah. But it benefits me like in lessons learned in life. It can give me experience in some things that I don't know about. Like when all else fails, I go to religion as a last resort. Because faith and religion it can't get you a job, it can't really get you it can't really get you like in, into a different station in life. It's, it, you can't depend on it. You can't depend on it. <laughs> we'll, we'll call it. Yeah, sure. Who say there's no God? I say there's no evidence for a God. So therefore, I 